Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. This is a video in my genetics playlist. Today we'll talk about DeJour syndrome and great mnemonics. Not just one mnemonic, three. Don't forget to check out my genetics playlist for more videos. Okay, so what is DeJour syndrome? DeJour syndrome is a problem with the pharyngeal pouches, but what are the pharyngeal pouches? Okay, here are your pharyngeal structures during embryology. You had pharyngeal clefts on the outside pharyngeal pouches on the inside and you had pharyngeal arches in the middle why is this because you have endoderm mesoderm and ectoderm what's the problem in DeJour syndrome it's with the pharyngeal pouches it's in the endoderm which part the third and the fourth pouches so here is one forget it here is two skip it number three is toast number four is toast in normal subjects third and fourth pouches give rise to thymus and parathyroid glands. So here is the George syndrome. What's the genetic cause? Microdeletion in chromosome 22. If you wanna be specific, 22 Q11.2. What the flip does that mean? It means chromosome 22. Long arm, region number one, band number one, sub band number two. This is how we do it, baby. What's the embryological pathobiology? I love this word. Failure of development of the third and fourth pharyngeal pouches. Therefore, what? Atrophy or hypoplasia of parathyroid gland, which will lead to decreased parathyroid hormone, which will lead to decreased serum calcium. If you decrease the serum calcium, especially the ionized free charged calcium, you will end up with hyper excitability of neurons, which what we call tetany. You have bronchospasms, carpal spasms, pedal spasms, all kinds of spasms. And then atrophy of the thymus, which will lead to decreased T lymphocytes. Where do T lymphocytes mature? Uh, in the thymus. And sometimes in lymph nodes, especially in the paracortex. Oh, the paracortex is toast. Why? Because this is where T lymphocytes live normally. These patients do not have T lymphocytes. Therefore, oh, their home will be atrophic. What will happen when my T lymphocytes are low? You are immunodeficient. You are at higher risk of infections, especially viral and fungal infections. Because what's the normal job of T lymphocytes? To defend you against foreign invader, especially viruses and fungi. But how about parasites? That's the eosinophils. How about bacteria? That's your B lymphocytes with the neutrophils. Here is the first mnemonic. Dijor, you see the dye? Yeah, dye means two. Okay, do. So every here, everything here is two. What's the microdilation? Two, two, one, one. Even this is repeated twice. So two, two, Q, one, one, point two. Microdilation. Two pharyngeal pouches fail to develop, the third and fourth pouch. Two glands are absent or atrophic or hypoplastic, parathyroid glands and the thymus glands. Two consequences, no parathyroid glands, no PTH. No thymus, no T lymphocytes. I sound like a used car salesman. No cash, no problem. Two symptoms. When you have hypocalcemia, you get tetany. When you have decreased T lymphocytes, you get infections. Even those infections aren't just one, two viral infections and fungal infections. How do I diagnose it? Using two kinds of investigations. You can use the lab to measure the serum calcium. It's low, baby, hypocalcemia. And you can order x-ray to check for the thymus absent thymus shadow in these children. Also, if you measure the T lymphocytes in the blood, it's gonna be low. How do you know that the lymphocytes are low? It's called CBC with a differential. How do you know that it's the T lymphocyte and not the B lymphocyte? For this, you will need a freaking flow cytometry. Mnemonic number two is the classic catch-22. Dijour syndrome, baby, cleft palate, abnormal facies. The T is thymus aplasia or hypoplasia. C, cardiac defects. H, hypocalcemia. 22 is chromosome number 22, microdeletion. 22112. The third mnemonic for DeGeorge comes from Pickmonic. Let's go, baby. Thymic aplasia or DeGeorge syndrome? Thymic aplasia. Thigh plate. Look at this. Look at this thigh plate. Thymus aplasia. What's the name of the syndrome? DeGeorge. And here are inquisitive George monkeys. 2211 deletion. Yes, two two, two twos, and one one wands. What's the problem? Failure of development of third and fourth pharyngeal pouches. Okay, pouch number three, here is your tree. Pouch number four, here is your four fork. The thymus did not develop. The thigh did not develop. That's a truncated thigh. T cell deficiency, deficient tennis balls. 
recurrent viral and fungal infections because you have no T lymphocyte. Also, the parathyroids did not develop. Parathyroid. Oh, the parachute. Leading to hypocalcemia. Here is a cachectic cow, which can cause tetany. This is titanic. Cardiac defects and aortic defects. Here is the aorta. And congenital heart defects. Here is your heart. If you do chest x-ray, you'll see absent thymus shadow. Oh, oh, there is an absent thigh leaving a shadow. If you go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash metacosis, you can get access to more than 1400 different picmonics. And these are not just pictures. These are animated videos. You know that patients with the George syndrome are at an increased risk of viral infections and fungal infections. You can get the pinnacle of all courses, the apotheosis of pharmacological knowledge, my antibiotics course. It has 40 videos, 70 questions, 35 cases with answers, of course. My ultimate notebook and a mind map. Go to medicosisperfectsnetics.com. Download it today. Learn about antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications. Get a 30% discount towards anything on my website. Just use promo code SAVE30 at checkout. Only four left. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my premium antibiotics course. Go to Picmonic for more than 1,400 animated medical mnemonics. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.